the reality is settling in on the view. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a view. I can't wait to check in on the sisters. Welcome to Doug and Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. Don't worry, guys. It's not just going to be the view. We have all kinds of liberals completely freaking out at Donald Trump's win. Welcome to where the happy patriots thrive. Win. Who's going to win? Look, 10 days ago, I would have told you that she's going to win. And now? And I think she's had a bad 10 days. Why? Uh, because I don't think... First of all, we're going to register that as a huge no. She's not going to win. Thank you, Chris Christie, for the wrap-up. And Joy Behar is going to have to go to therapy for this one. There's advantage and disadvantage to having come in the race as late as she, as she did. The advantage is she, she didn't have to go through all the primaries and go through all that that goes on that wears you down a bit. But the disadvantage is people don't know her. I mean, still. still, they still don't know her. She didn't do her job. You've had a long time. No one knows who you are. The view is going to freak out over that one. Yes, look. She's been the vice president for four, almost exactly. four years. You know, How could they, they not son, know her? You know the old joke. A woman had two sons. Yes. One went to see, the other became vice president of the United States. Neither were ever heard from again. <laughs> Sonny Hostin says she's been the president for four years. And Chris Christie goes, exactly. Vice president. There's no coverage there. Nancy Pelosi said it too. She goes, the vice president essentially does nothing. I mean, the job of the vice president is to stand knew, three steps behind the president, Biden, out of focus. Well, they did, didn't, though. Then I mean, why look, do they keep accusing her of not doing anything when she was vice president? What did Mike Pence do, I'd like to know? <laughs> nothing. Joy Behar nods that she answered her own question. Yes, Kamala Harris did nothing. What about Mike Pence? That is also not something. You know, we barely heard from Biden. We didn't really. She wants to tax unrealized capital gains. No, 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 no. No, this is in complete gone. Not even, not even her simp, Mark Cuban, can sell this. Even Marky Boy says this would destroy the global economy and take the USA down with it. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamala Harris is the least qualified candidate to ever run for any political office in American history. She makes... She makes, she makes her boss look competent. She's a fake. I'm not here to invalidate her. She's a fake, a fraud. She's a pretender. Her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. They will. They've already crippled the dollar, manufactured inflation, censored your voices, funded transgender surgeries, and made empty promises to the middle class for 50 years. This election, this election has to be more than a victory. It needs to be a landslide. Hear from Kamala. Um, Biden had a very tough debate performance. He was replaced in a way that's, I don't, I mean, I, I liken it to somebody knocked kind on of, his door. A threat, on to, a threat it, to democracy, right. maybe, just to throw 2 a 2 a.m., they knock on his door, and he, he has a sleeping cap on, and he opens it with a candle. And it's Pelosi and Obama, I think. That's J.D. Vance on a podcast. I don't know that guy's name, but he's kind of funny. And he's describing how Joe Biden got replaced. But this is about... Trump getting a strange ally in Joe Biden. This is what I imagine happens. <laughs> and he opens it up and then they go, you're out. And she'll invoke the 25th and then Kamala's right behind him <laughs> laughing <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like right. a joker. Yeah. And now she's yeah. the nominee. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's basically how I <laughs> imagine it to JD Vance is having a good time. He's seeing those numbers go up. His career is about to take off. How mad is Biden? Do you think he might, oh, do something drastic? And I honestly think Biden is pissed off about it. He seems like angry. there are all of these these weird little ways. He's wearing where Trump he helps hats. Us. He wears a Trump hat at the <laughs> <Yeah>. firefighter <laughs> uh, event. He he does this thing where, you know, a couple of weeks ago, she was starting one of her big rallies. Yeah. And he decides to have a press conference 30 <laughs> seconds into it. So he's doing all these passive aggressive things against Kamala Harris, resentful. Especially if she loses, he's going to come out and go, I'd have won. I'd have won. Everyone happy that you swapped me out now? <laughs> right. So they're all watching Joe Biden yeah. and not Kamala Harris. Or he'll say something nice here and there about yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. I, I, it would not shock me if Joe Biden votes for Donald Trump. Oh, let me know in the comments below. Does Joe Biden vote for Donald Trump? That's the ultimate resentful thing. Yes, I think he would. He's that big of a... You know what? Especially uh, given how hurt and his pride is so hurt. Hey, it's a private ballot. 
he could go in that and pull the lever for whoever. He's having fun. He's putting on the Trump hat. He's getting in little fights with people at the rallies. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. you know, President Trump said at the Al Smith dinner, yeah. he was like, you know, when I was really against this, this guy, I really hated him. Yeah. Now I kind of like him. Yeah, Trump's kind of liking Joe Biden. So they're having lots of laughs. Here's a Democrat who is uh, not having a good time. It's two weeks till the election. I'm getting a lot of texts and feeling a lot of people panicking. And then other people saying, no, 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 don't panic. Don't panic. And I think those people are wrong. It is time to panic. He said a bad word. That's shocking. A liberal? Upset? Yeah, but uh, I like the message. It is time to panic. And that means there's no panic on the Republican side. We fight, we're tactical, we push, we work hard. But the left, they're just flailing all over the place in panic. And not just panic, but to do something about it. Because uh, like many people are saying today, the polls are not good. I'm just gonna be blunt. I don't work for the Kamala campaign. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. The polls are not good. Trump has the momentum. <clears throat> Please get involved. He is a danger to the physical safety of American citizens everywhere, not to mention our economy and to our own control over our personal freedoms, what we do with our bodies, what gets taught in schools. I thought Trump looked presidential and personable. Uh, I hate that, but uh, but he did. All right, worst case scenario, Trump gets reelected. Here is the game plan if that happens. The general rule of thumb from now on is, will the MAGA heads use it to attack someone? If so, keep your mouth shut. You no longer know that any of your trans friends are trans. You no longer know that any of your non-Christian friends are non-Christian. You no longer know that any of your friends, family, or neighbors are left-leaning at all. Anyone that you don't know tries to talk about politics around you, you shut that shit down immediately because that is fishing for information and people they can report. He is very, very dangerous. We're in big trouble. And I am, I can feel it. I was out talking to voters yesterday. I did not like the vibe. Morgan knows can't handle so much good news. Can you imagine what he is going to do in a second term when he's more confident, has less to give is more empowered and honestly seems more organized yeah. rogan is having a, a back and forth conversation with him that seems like two human beings talking that's definitely helpful to trump because politicians are normally so awkward right <clears throat> project 2025 which is truly horrific in terms of its goals Oh, I wish Trump would follow Project 2025. I wish he'd read it. We will live to regret it if we don't. Even the people voting for him will live to regret it. I'm regretting it already. Um, standard politicians, including Kamala Harris, are talking point machines. And that's not what Trump is doing. Someone asks about your opinion on the basic rights of other people. You say, I don't talk about politics. It's going to hurt, but that's what's going to help you and others survive. These are the basic ground rules for surviving a fascist government, which is 100% what Donald Trump has said on camera he wants to put in place if he gets reelected. If progressives have a politics that says all white people are racist, all men are toxic, and all billionaires are evil, it's kind of hard to keep them on your side. And so we might want to think about if you're chasing people out of the party, you can't be mad when they leave. And maybe if we had a different politics, we actually said dignity for everybody, everybody's respected and we need you, more people might stay. A little late for that. I'm dug in exile.